So guys, in today's video, we have such an amazing thing which can melt even iron and that too without any electricity, without using any fuel at all. Yes, guys, and this is <laughs> that thing. <laughs> Shouldn't get too excited either, but what to do, the thing is so amazing in itself, so this is that thing. Guys, sometimes I wonder that a mother earth, I mean the planet we live on, is positioned so perfectly. Yes guys, just imagine, if its distance from the sun had been just a little lesser, then the sun would have scorched it with its heat. And if it had been just a little bit further, then our earth would have been frozen. All the seas that are there, they all would have become ice. And there would have been no trace of us on this earth at all. So think about how God up there has created this mother earth with such care and made it so perfect. No doubt, God is great. So let's take his name and start this video. And let me show you that for this thing is. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel. Let's cross 20 million as soon as possible. We already have titanium in our blood. You please don't try to attempt any of this at home. So guys, should we open this up now? Come on, let's do it. Uh, it's quite tight. Because inside this is something dangerous. Woo! <laughs> no, there won't be any explosions, okay? So this is that awesome thing. Guys, if you look at this thing, it can look extremely simple, but this is an extremely powerful lens, which is called Fresnel lens. And polythene is the only thing in it, and it is made up of just polythene. And this simple lens can melt iron as well. So guys, finding this or bringing this is very difficult task. We managed to find this with a lot of difficulty. The old televisions that used to be there many, many years ago that used to contain these kind of lens, but that was half of what this is. This is quite big. We have removed the tape from this and let us now open this. To open this, we will need four people and everyone has to be very careful and has to take care. If your body happens to fall in front of its focal point, then the bones will also melt, okay? That's why you have to be careful. So guys, you can see that this is put it down so that it doesn't catch the sun too soon. So check it out. Guys, see this. This is what this lens looks like. Look, you can see amazing patterns built into it. It's just amazing, man. <laughs> you can see that in what way this is focusing on the grass below. So guys, this lens here, what it does it, all this sunlight that is falling on top of it, it concentrates it and its focus point is this, the center portion here. So as we keep raising it up steadily, underneath the sunlight will start getting focused. Put it down, put it down, the grass will burn. Guys, look at it from here, look underneath. Look at what lovely patterns are forming and the designs are also so pretty. And as and when we keep raising it, its focus point starts focusing in one place. That means all the sunlight that is there starts getting concentrated in one place. Focus, okay. So let's lift it up slowly and look at what designs are forming below. Look, look, whoa. Right now the sunlight has focused at this point. Oh, yes, oh man, the moist grass has started burning. So now to give you an example, what I'm going to do is I will take a piece of newspaper and put it there. Oh, it's flown off over there. Bring it over here quickly. <laughs> so I had already set it up that we will keep the newspaper here and we will burn it here. But the wind, the wind has spoiled our plan. It has extended the video a bit. So let us place the newspaper over here and let us try to bring its focus on the top of this newspaper. Okay, let's take it up slowly, 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 slowly. Yes, take it up, take it up. From this side, lift it from your side. Higher, higher, higher. Take it forward. Whoa, guys. Look. <laughs> guys, you can see that this has set fire to our newspaper within a few seconds. You can see that the newspaper has burnt completely. So guys, holding this lens in this manner and focusing it is a little challenging. So leave it. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Leave it. That is why what we have done is we have constructed a separate frame for it, leave it so that we can easily make it focus. So guys, you can see that this is the kind of frame here with the help of this, what we can do is move it up and down and at the same time we can help it focus well in the desired position. Look. So come on, let's quickly fit this Fresnel lens into this frame and then after that, we'll show you all of its powers. We'll show you how deadly this can be. Put it up boys, put it up quickly. 
So let's take this frame down and then fit it. So guys now what we'll do is I have this pair of shoes let me take out one and put it underneath this and then let's see what happens okay really slowly slowly oh guys oh man oh my god guys look what it has done to my shoes just in a few seconds oh my god oh it becomes brand new <laughs> it's got a new design on it oh my god look at how it's melting look at this guys Within a few seconds, the shoe has caught fire and melted. Guys, these were my favorite shoes. And just for this experiment, I have ended up burning them. So I'm emptying out a pocket of popcorns over here. So let's see if these popcorns pop under the lens or not. <laughs> Seriously, man. <laughs> The power is so strong that even before the popcorns could pop, they have become the charcoal. <laughs> Guys, you can see that the popcorns received way too much heat. Heat, which is why even before cooking, they have changed to charcoal and have caught fire. Guys, check this out now. The melting point of steel is actually very high and despite that this plate has gotten so hot from the middle that it has almost split from the middle and it has risen a little from above. Now let's focus on this newspaper and see what happens to this newspaper one more time. Whoa! Oh man! Guys, right after putting it down. Oh man! And now I have this black colored cloth. Let's see what happens to this. Focus it quickly. Come on, let's put it underneath it. Whoa! Oh man! And now I have metal inside this box with me. So now let's put this metal into this steel ball and now let's see if we are able to melt this metal with the help of this or not. So now let's place this underneath this and let's see whether this metal melts or it doesn't. Oh my god! Guys see, within moments of placing it, here the metal has started melting. Look, check this out. Guys you can see that this has melted the metal itself. Look at this. Metal has become water see. Man, I'm not even able to take my hands near this because this really has become way too hot. Look, look here guys. Molten metal. That means melted metal. See this. Come on now, let's try to cool this down and see what happens to the metal. It has become absolutely water man. See, look it become absolutely liquid. See. Now we will put this into this bucket of water slowly. So here it goes. Oh, look. Even now this is quite hot. Now let us put this cracker at its focal point and then let's see what transpires, okay? Keep your distance. Come on, focus now. Guys, this become a flower pot cracker. <laughs> Step away. It looks like something is oozing out of the soil, right? <laughs> Guys, did you see that? We would have done many more experiments with this, but the sun god has said goodbye. It's the rainy weather, so the clouds are blocking the sun sometimes. And for this experiment, the main thing that is required is sunlight. And at the same time, this thing is so amazing and so deadly and we can try many many experiments with it but right now the sunlight is not very clear because there is cloud cover and the sunlight is filtering through the clouds. You can see that this is so powerful that it has burnt up the soil itself. The soil itself has blackened underneath it. It has melted iron, it has burst crackers, it has ruined my shoes. 
what can be more dangerous than this guys i hope you really enjoyed this thing i've made him wear a helmet for safety since the beginning so that's it for today's video we'll meet again in the next video with a new topic until then jai hind jai bharat